stay subscribed DIYs every week, you guys know. Anyway, today I'm back with another home DIY, and it's this guy right here. Um, I have a new toilet paper holder, and this is actually covering a hole in the wall. The previous owners, for some reason, um, they did not use a drywall screw whenever they put the uh, their toilet paper holder in, so it eventually made its way out, and it made a pretty big hole, which was surprising, um, but it had, like, you know how they have, like, the two metal pieces that go on the wall, and then the little piece that connects? Um, I wanted this, which is just, like, the one piece, like, this modern thing that's really popular. I want to pause and say, if you guys can hear that, that is my neighbor's dog. We waited here so long uh, for her to go back inside, but I guess she's just going to be outside for a while. And I needed to film this, so I'm sorry, but, you know, she's roaming free. Anyway, so I wanted something that was, like, farmhouse look, something that would cover the hole, and, um, you know, something that just, cover, like, would fit into my decor. And this is what we came up with. It was super simple. Um, we purchased this from the hardware store, a new toilet paper holder. And then this is just, like, less than two bucks in lumber and some screws, um, and there's just a couple little tricks to doing it, so we're going to show you guys that. It was really simple, um, which you'll see in the video. So anyway, here's the video. Please stay. Please subscribe. All right. Alrighty, here is a look at my before. I know it looks ridiculous, right? So if you want to remove um, yours and you have like the, the two bar system there, um, it's pretty simple for the most part. It should have a little screw underneath it and you just remove it and then take that piece off and then there should be a wall mounted little tiny bracket with two screws. Pretty simple for the most part. Mine was painted over for some reason. Then you just want to kind of clean up the area a little bit. I actually scrubbed my walls because I have littles. Y'all know how that is. I also want to mention, if you have an air duct nearby, you may want to check that out because sometimes they can go up further than you think they may. So I actually had to remove my vent um, and check and it actually went up a little bit further than I thought. Even though you think it might stop, it may not. Just check it just to make sure you definitely do not want to drill into your air vent. Um, I had to move my uh, plan up just a little tiny bit, but I mean, you may have that in your bathroom. Just check it out. Anyway, measuring. I took my um, toilet paper holder. I put it up to the wall where I wanted to put it. And I took a measuring tape. I wanted to make sure that this back piece was going to cover the hole in the wall, cover where the existing or the um, the old one was mounted. And I wanted it to be big enough and small enough. You know what I'm saying? I wanted it to look perfect. So. I got my lumber and I measured it. I think I ended up doing three one by fours tall and I think it was like 13 or 14 inches across. By the way, this lumber came from Home Depot, discounted, like less than two bucks. So then you wanna sand it, obviously, you know, just very light sand around, especially if it came from the discount bin, you gotta sand off that purple spray paint um, and then stain it. Of course you don't have to stain it, but I stained mine. Um, I did a black because I'm trying to do a bunch of black accents in that bathroom. So staining basics, if you don't know, I have a video, I'll link it below, but basically you want to stir your stain really, really well. Take a paper towel or an old rag or an old sock. You probably want to wear gloves, but I always have stained up pants. And then you want to wipe it over your board, um, pretty lightly. Don't soak it too much. Um, and you want to go with the grain. So back and forth with the grain. You don't want to go against the grain. You want to go with the grain and cover the whole entire thing. Um, and then wipe off any extra because if you have any puddles, it will kind of um, show up in the aftermath. So that's after one coat. Depending on the type of wood, it may show up really well after one coat or it may not. This is after coat number two. We had to actually do three coats. This is after coat number three. This is not put together. This is just me in the bathroom trying to see where I wanted to mount it, um, you know, together. So anyway, now I'm going to start with the first board um, to cover the hole. So whether that's the middle one, the top one, the bottom one, whichever one you'd like. I just dropped my mouse. <laughs> and then you want to use a level. You can use a level on your phone. You can use your actual level, you know, whatever, to make sure it's actually level with the floor. That's pretty simple, right? I think so. Um, and then drill your holes. You can pre-drill the board. You can drill right through, depending on whatever you want. But you definitely want to pre-drill those holes in both the board and the wall. After your holes are pre-drilled, you want to add your drywall screws, which for some reason I do not have a video of. And then you can screw your other pieces in place the same. So then you want to put your toilet paper holder up. This is me trying to hold it up and show you at the same time. 
So figure out where you want to put it and then put the bracket on. It should be super simple. There should be directions in. Just mount it to this wooden piece as if you were going to mount it to the wall. Um, it should be a bracket and then a little piece that screws in. But again, your instructions will show you. But that is it. Super easy peasy. Um, it took a couple days to get done because you have to wait for the stain to dry, you know, that kind of stuff. But I love, love, love the way this turned out. And I actually made some extra um, wooden, like black wooden accents to go in the bathroom to match it. And again, I will have my whole transformation uh, video soon and I will link it below. But anyway, that is it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I just dropped my mouse again, y'all. I'll tell you what today. Anyway. That is it. Please stay. Please subscribe for more DIYs. It means the world to me that you guys watch my videos. Bye, y'all. Love you.